When you mentioned some of the partners that Rwanda is working with, I think it's, it's all clear to everyone uh, just how much of a tourism and investment uh, destination that Rwanda has become. You mentioned the Qatar Airways partnership. Uh, there was also the renewed partnership with the Premier League team, PSG. Some of your critics, though, say that a lot of these partnerships are just to mask some of the human rights concerns in the country. I mean, what, what do you say to that? Well, I would have been surprised if you didn't bring that up, because that's uh, the talking point of uh, every... But this is, discussion is about uh, economic partnerships, it's about growth, it's about... So let me tell you briefly what we are about. Uh, I mentioned that uh, we are seeking partnerships with uh, uh, market leaders. Right. We talked about um, aviation. We have invested also in uh, and with Europe in uh, biotechnology. We have in fact uh, we are now manufacturing, beginning to manufacture, maybe starting with August, uh, vaccines. We are working with uh, BioNTech. Yes, we are also partnering with uh, NBA for Basketball Africa League, which is uh, best in Rwanda, uh, and so on and so forth. So, the, in fact, by making progress on this front, the economic front, and providing for our people, we are dealing with the human rights issues. We are, because uh, the basic thing is the needs of people, that's what we are looking at. The second sector area we are looking at is uh, innovation and startups mm -hmm. and we are having partnerships in these areas as well for example with innovation and uh, the startups we have um, uh, one of a kind for drone uh, precision delivery right. you have heard of a company called uh, zipline yep which started in Rwanda and we are working together and it's a company that is growing uh, uh, across the continent and uh, beyond. And then we have uh, Noshken. Uh, it's a Swedish company. It has established a hub in the East African region and we uh, they are helping startup companies uh, and they have created a, a technology hub in Kigali. So really this is uh, the medicine for um, answering the human rights question. Is it the medicine though? Because we've heard from a number uh, of countries talk about just how concerned they are about um, the stability of the region in particular when it comes to Rwanda and Congo and the human rights situation. So, so is, it, is it the medicine? I mean, what is it that you're actually doing for the local communities there to, to better the situation and not spill out into an all-out war? It's the medicine because uh, we may not uh, be able to stop uh, problems of instability uh, anywhere in the world, they have different causes and they have to be addressed differently, uh, as you see across the world, in actual fact. Uh, yeah. But you are talking about Rwanda or our region. I, 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 I don't think you imagine that uh, the source of instability of the region uh, whether it is Sudan or Somalia or beyond, like in Central African Republic or terrorism we had in uh, Mozambique is all coming from Rwanda. I don't think so. But for the problems between uh, uh, Rwanda and uh, DRC, uh, that has a process that is uh, addressing that. Where is the process at right now? The process uh, is uh, led by Angola uh, and also the East African region. Uh, we have two processes, one of Nairobi, another of Luanda in, Ango in Angola. 
and these discussions are going on. In fact, the African Union itself is uh, dealing with the matter. Uh, and the UN, which has been there for the last 20 years, uh, you would imagine maybe with the amount of money spent there and the time spent, we would actually not be having problems uh, since uh, uh, the UN is the leader in uh, trying to help to right. create peace. Are you willing to meet with President Felix Shikidi about the, the conflict that's happening? We have met many times over that and we shall continue, but I have indicated to you that uh, we uh, have frameworks in which we are working. So I, I don't uh, know of any problem that you have in your mind about meeting, but I, we've been meeting several times. Do you see the conflict coming to an end um, soon? I mean, Rwanda is going to have elections next year. I mean, is, is this something that you're committed to seeing end while you're still in office? I'm wondering if you're imagining that if there is a, a, a problem like that involving countries or people and for uh, different sorts of causes, that there is one person that has the key to addressing the issue. But uh, maybe one person or one country is part of the solution, but is not the solution, but they will contribute to that. So I think maybe we can uh, continue with uh, the, the, the discussion in the context of why we are here, and then we uh, leave the matters to be handled by those who are already handling it.